with two colors from here to here. And we've got some single colors. And then we've got some triples. They're like the metallic sets. Yeah. So we've got rose gold, we've got like antique. Wow. Like vintage. <laughs> oh, and then we've got pastel rainbows. Oh, yes, I remember. And bright that. rainbows somewhere. Here's nice. a bright rainbow. <laughs> everyone it is very windy here in north somerset i think the whole of the uk is experiencing a bit of a storm i think they're calling it eugene it's been incredibly windy and we haven't been able to put our signs out because we were you know pretty sure they were going to blow over um and i almost canceled the class that i had booked today because I didn't want people to drive, you know, too far. Um, but she was she was really local, so she came, and so I taught her how to knit socks, which was great. And then Dad and Carl and I had our big business meeting, which we were changing from every week to a fortnight now. And that's all I did pretty much today because the internet's been out. <laughs> um, we've been using data off of Carl's phone to check people out but we haven't had pretty much anybody really come in because everyone's staying home and safe the two scaredy cats up here it's a goblin and a shasta shasta looks really grumpy <laughs> um but yeah i'm just i'm about to have a bit of a lie down before family uh dinner and board game night so i'll try and film a little bit of that for you um, but I just wanted to say hi, and some days are like that if you work all day and it feels like you haven't really done very much. Um, but that's okay. Hello! It's, what is it, Saturday evening Saturday now? Evening. Saturday evening. We've had a full day in the shop. We had a class. We had Lily, my social media person. Mom's just saying goodbye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Um, we are about to close up. I'm exhausted, and we still have some deliveries to do this evening. Just for a fun little behind-the-scenes peek. We did a little photo shoot here. Let me turn the camera around. Did a little photo shoot here for our stitch markers, as you can see. It's chaos behind the scenes. <laughs> I just wanted to check in and say hi and see you later. Hello, 
I was just reviewing some footage from Vlogmas um, because I have my social media coordinator working for us, a uh, really, really nice lady. Her name is Lily and um, she's doing a lot of the editing now. I know one of the things I've told her to practice on is Vlogmas because it's a great example of um, using a bunch of different clips. She gets to try a bunch of different editing techniques and anyway so i'm trying to pop them into folders that i think like days that i think would be good like we had like december four five six six and seven seven eight nine ten that kind of stuff just in different folders for her to access really easily and i've just realized that i, I just reviewed some footage of myself reviewing some footage in vlogmas like it was like a little like crazy and i was just thinking like this works out um you know and I can keep her on as an editor and everything I'm not gonna have shots like that next vlogmas um because she's gonna be doing the editing um anyway I was just kind of like yeah it's kind of a weird transition and today especially in the shop um I was running around teaching like a class in the shop I was teaching Lily how to do stuff I was like managing people organizing like schedules well Carl did a lot of the organizing of the schedules and it's just really interesting to see how the shape of the business is changing now that we've taken on more people well now that I have decided to not do everything myself <laughs> um because we have uh, a demand for um more stuff and like, I want to give people the best customer service I can. And I just can't do it all by myself anymore. So it's scary. It's a calculated risk, but it is a risk all the same. Um, and yeah, it's, a, it's a scary stuff. I keep thinking about when I was 14, 15, I think I'd just turned 15. I'm a, it must've been. 14. I don't know. I don't know what age I was allowed to work in America, but it was all legal. I remember us checking that, but I applied for a job in a scrapbooking store and I got it and I was like the Saturday girl and I had like a shift on Saturday and like a Wednesday evening or something. And I remember the atmosphere in there was so supportive and um, the boss, the lady was running the place. She was always like in and out and like doing a million things. She was like amazing. I still talk to her occasionally. She's yeah. And then I had my shop sister, my big sister. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking about it and I was thinking about how it kind of all comes full circle. And now here I am teaching someone how to do stuff. Um, and it's just, I don't know. It's a weird checkpoint in my life going from the person that's always been learning to the person that's imparting knowledge I don't know Lily is probably rolling her eyes so hard right now because of course she's editing this right now like inception um but anyway I uh it's nice it's nice to be able to have grown enough to be able to give back to that cycle because I'm like so grateful for the women the strong amazing women um that I looked up to I hope I can be like a fraction of those people um I um I'm quite sleepy at this point I think I've done everything I need to do for tonight I could obviously do more um but I'm just wondering if I need to save my energy for tomorrow tomorrow I have booked in an all-day spinning class um where she's bringing her wheel and I'm gonna get her orientated um I'm not I can't remember who it is but I know it's it's a lady um and Lily and I are gonna do some more photo shooting. We did some photo shoots, photo shooting. Ugh. We did some photos for these little stitch markers, which are super cute, these little bottles of stitch markers. So the stitch markers inside are your classic, not great for the environment, uh, metal made in China bulb pins. Um, and the little glass bottles are some cheapy glass bottles. The reason why I've chosen those not great products is because we get a lot of requests for a cheap beginner option um and everybody and their grandma is selling these and I figure like if they're gonna buy them anyway they might as well support a small business while doing so 
So, you know, and I have purposefully not marked them up very much so that they don't break the bank. So this is like a real budget friendly option that comes in a really nice little glass bottle. And it's got a lovely little sound to it. And it's, it gives those like medicine cabinet vibes, <laughs> um, like old vintage tinctures kind of thing, all stacked up on the little shelf, which is nice. Um, very inspired by medical history. And um, it's got a fun little saying on there. I won't give it all away because you should go to the shop and check them out. But it says, uh, established 2014, alternate universes, stitch markers, use one dose as needed, apply topically to project. And then it's got some little uh, fun, uh, other little doodads on there. So you get 20 little bulb, um, bulb pins in this little glass bottle um and it's one pound 90 for this little guy really cheapest chips it comes in a huge variety of colors which i am very excited about and we've named them after different like potion ingredients <laughs> so you know we've got like acid sunshine rust um water um flame anyway so I'm very excited about that. That's going to be good. And we're going to do another little photo shoot so we can get those up on the online shop. Anyway, I've been rambling a lot now. This always happens. Whenever I edit vlogs, I like want to talk to you guys. Um, but anyway, leave me a comment with how you are doing and whether you're enjoying these studio vlogs and what your favorite part is. <laughs> Any of those. And um, I'll see you later. Bye. little muffin climbed into bed with me and wants some snuggles. <laughs> Luckily this morning she waited until I was already awake. Usually it's like 3 a.m. before she, when she starts waking me up. She's so funny though. Sometimes she's like, no, get away from me. I'm done. I don't want anything to do with you. I'm an independent girl. And then sometimes she's like, I give me snuggles. <laughs> she's so funny. So, um, just here in the office after hours, it's a Saturday night, and I'm reviewing some footage um, that my little editor has put together of more of the Vlogmas files that never got posted, which is wonderful. It's so awesome to see, like, them get thrown together, uh, which is, yeah, it's just amazing. I'm loving it. Um, so, I'm here doing that, but I'm also here making some labels. <laughs> Um, these are little labels that will go on to yarn balls. It says your friendly local yarn shop, alternate universe, .co .uk. and then I'm going to make a second set that says your friendly ethical yarn shop. Um, because we're changing up the way that we label everything and we've been doing it the same way for like seven years and everything is getting barcodes now. The balls are going to have barcode labels on them with the price and everything. And then... We're going to have this little doohickey, which has got our shop website on, and um, you can remember where you got it from. So I'm hoping that that will work. Uh, Mom is not sure whether or not we can fit both labels on the ball. 
at that same time. So that's going to be a challenge, but I'm sure Carl and mum are up for it. They were uh, full of nonsense today working together. They work really well as a team, actually. It's kind of amazing to see them getting along so well. Like who would have thought like my partner and my mom make such an amazing team. So yeah, I'm just smiles all around in that department. Carl and I went to another job fair in Bristol on Thursday, looking for our second um, Kickstarter spot uh, job placement. We're looking for someone to fill the spot. So we went along to another job fair. We weren't successful the first week we went, came back again, and interviewed four pretty awesome candidates um, and managed to um, agree uh, with one of them that uh, they will be starting soon. So that's good. It's a little different from what we were hoping for. We were hoping for someone to come in every day that the shop is open uh, from opening to close, which would have just been exactly 24 hours, I think, perfectly. Um, they've got um, some schooling stuff they have to work around, um, other appointments and stuff like that. So they're gonna be in the shop for most of the weekend. <laughs> um, and then they'll have some some homework to do to make up the rest of the 24 hours. Because for those of you who don't know, um, we are participating in the government kickstart scheme, which provides a job to someone, a young person that is struggling to find work that's on universal credit and um, we give them 25 hours a week of work and the government pays them minimum wage and for six months. Um, so they get a guaranteed job for six months. We get some free labor for six months and hopefully at the end of it, if everyone it's working well and the business can earn enough money, we'll keep them on. But um, it totally depends on how everything else is going. So if you've always wanted to buy something from us, now's the time. <laughs> Um, shameless plug there, but um, it really would mean a lot. We're having a bit of a slow beginning to the year. I seem to be teaching classes every second of every day, but um, it's, you know, it's not a huge money maker, uh, especially if we only get one or two people per class, um, which I will keep doing because I love bringing new knitters into the world <laughs> new crocheters and spinners and everything like that um but yeah if you have been thinking about getting something from us or supporting us in any way um it would be wonderful if um i could just you know bend your arm a little bit and you could get something squishy for for yourself um lily and i also went through the whole month of march and planned out our content schedule for the month of March, uh, which is something that I have been longing to implement for years and years and never ever had the discipline or the time really to allow myself to do that. Um, when you work in a very uh, physical environment, it's so easy to get caught up in the physical things and forget that the digital world exists and that the internet is important um, to businesses and things like that. So um, having a social media person here uh, working with us is a physical reminder that that is important and that needs to get done. Um, and so it's just really nice to carve that time out and do it. We have some exciting stuff lined up and i'm just excited to see like where where this goes um i'm hoping by the time you see this you should definitely these should definitely be online by then um these are our little stitch marker bottles you might have seen me like de designing the labels earlier in the vlog um we've got tons of different colors here and they just look so adorable. They look like little medicine bottles. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling, but um, thank you for watching these fun little studio shop vlogs. I hope you're enjoying this little peek into my life and I will see you in the next clip.
Thank you for hanging out with me while I was knitting and watching some Critical Role with the little Gerben coming in and out of a uh, shot and snuggling with me on my lap. Carl just pointed something out to me. I uh, got really warm and I was like, oh, it's just my body being not being able to regulate its temperature very well. And then and I was like, does this does Critical Role sound really loud to you now? And he was like, no. So I like, turned the volume down. Um, this is just typical symptoms of ME, chronic fatigue. Um, so that's fun. Um, <laughs> like, my body just does not know how to regulate its temperature at all. So I'll be cold and then I'll put blankets on to, like, try and help regulate my temperature. And then my body will be like, okay, we're hot now. And then I take the blankets off and then my body gets cold um it just doesn't know how to deal with it <laughs> carl's just shaking his head no, <laughs> um but yeah um so you saw me also making the maple pancakes tea from bird and blend and it was all right it just kind of tasted like bird and blend tea to be honest they have a very like distinctive flavor um i uh, i've had like pancakey type vape flavors before what back when i used to um vape zero nicotine um cbd stuff um and it honestly wasn't as good as as that like it was it was okay but it was just like yeah did have a, a smoky flavor to it which was nice and I'm curious to try the strawberry Nutella pancake blend. Like, I'll definitely drink it and enjoy it when I have it. It just wasn't like, boom, maple bacon, which is kind of what I was hoping it would be. Uh, it was definitely more subtle than that. It is pancake day tomorrow, which is a Tuesday. Um, but we have a very busy day with cleaners and Dungeons and Dragons. So mom and dad and Carl and I are going to celebrate on Wednesday instead, which will be really nice. We're just planning out our menu. We're gonna do like a savory fake chicken cream and corn and white wine um, savory thing. And then probably have some like with Nutella or jam. So that'll be good. Um, looking forward to that, we always enjoy. Uh, making pancakes with mom and dad so that'll be good carl is completely obsessed with this new game that's just come out it's I mean, called elden ring yep it has a giant friendly turtle with a hat on <laughs> it is it's an interesting interesting game there are some really nasty looking monsters because it's made by the same people that made like dark souls and stuff um but it's got a more open world feel like skyrim this is kind of a weird combination, but it's, it's cool. Um, so yeah, he's just been playing that like obsessively ever since it came out on Friday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, it came out. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is usually what our Mondays look like. If I'm feeling well enough to come downstairs, I usually just sit in my little corner of the couch and knit. If I'm lucky enough to have a kitten come and sit with me, that's even better. And Carl's usually vegging with some kind of game or um, multiple games or something um mondays are our rest days um yeah 
Sorry, I'm just watching him. There's like these grim reapers. They look pretty cool. Anyway, I'm um, going to do a little bit more. I'm on episode four of campaign three of Critical Role. Carl's watching with me like out of the corner of his eye. Um, he likes to listen to it. He can't like actively sit down and watch it. Um, you've always said that you would rather be playing D&D than watching other people play D&D. Yes. Which is understandable. Um, so yeah, I'm just... Griffin has decided to sit in my lap again. I hope you enjoyed the adorable clips of her up on the back of the chair playing with some of my yarn. Um, I like to play this game where I give them a little ball of yarn to keep safe. And <laughs> then when I pull it, you know, they get really excited. And that way I can like keep an eye on them and make sure they're not eating it or anything. Um, the kittens are not allowed yarn unsupervised because it's really bad for them if they eat it. It can get all tangled up in their insides. So do not recommend leaving your cats with yarn unattended. Also, you know, it will ruin all of your stash. So yeah, it is, I know they enjoy it when they get a chance to feel the wool in between their claws. It's supposed to be really lovely and tactile for them. So yeah, she's very cute. But I was looking back at the footage of me sitting knitting and she just, she can't sit still. She's very much um, an ADHD cat, I think. She's very adorable. She likes to she likes to be nearby, but not necessarily be smothered in love. And I have to really stop myself from smothering her because she's very soft. Very soft, like a mixture between like the softest merino and um, velvet and silk. She's just very sweetie. I'm going to go do some more knitting and I will check in with you guys later. Thank you.